What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really good one in the concert series set from ProRec. It's the PR212T. Now I've already made a few videos on this. This is my final video, the complete review and details and everything, pros, cons, thoughts, all that good stuff in this video, but I also had an unboxing and assembly and hookup videos. So check out those two. I did this purposely because there was so much information, five boxes of equipment and all uh, kinds of stuff to get done that I wanted to make it in videos. So that way, you know, you just don't have to watch one ginormously long video. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. You've only seen it here. The PR212T from ProRec. It's a concert series set. Very cool set. Thank you for tuning in. Just know that DJ Martini Midwest Re Reviews loves to do tech reviews, item reviews, valued items, likes to find those videos, those items that you just don't see a lot, bring you all that information, give it to you as easy as possible, give you a good honest review, and then leave some links in case you're interested. So thank you so much for tuning in. DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you to everybody for joining me. If this is helpful at all, please give a, a like or subscribe and let me know what you think. So thank you so much. You guys are all awesome. Like I said, we're building a great, I wanna say it's almost like a community and it's all, you guys are all fantastic. Great comments, great vibes, get great feedback. We're building the Martini Nation, steadily growing this channel and I'm super excited. So let's get into the Pro Rec Concert Series set, the PR212T. It is a, the one of the most expensive systems besides the venue set, which is similar to this and I'll explain that in a minute from ProRec. So immediately I thought, whoa, whoa, whoa. ProRec is definitely jumping into a, a pretty big market here of equipment from other, you know, sets that they're going to be trying to compete with at this price point. And so I'm really going to be a little bit more picky about talking about this set because now you're in a bracket where you could buy, you know, all kinds of equipment out there. Okay. And so I am going to be a little bit more picky with this review for that reason. And so that's just me staying honest with you guys all, okay? Number one pro with ProRec is that it is a complete system, guys. You're gonna get two these two arrays that have eight speakers in them. They are true arrays, you can't adjust them. There's really no other systems like this out there. I would tell you that right now. So you're, these are true arrays. You can suspend them from the ceiling or you can mount these on these posts, the tripods that they come with. That's why I love ProRec because everything is a system. It's a complete set. It has the cables. It has everything you need to get started. All you need to do is Bluetooth to that subwoofer and you're playing music. Connect one cord into it to your device, to your DJ setup, those types of things, and you're playing music. And so that is the number one positive in my book for ProRec. And that's why I've always been a ProRec fan uh, because they've always had valued, valued systems. Now this one's a little bit more expensive, but they've always had valued systems. Everything's included. And like I said, you just plug into it and play music. So that's uh, my biggest uh, positive with ProRec all the time, uh, no matter what system you're talking about out there. So this system is $1,900. So it's $1,999 actually on the website right now. It's, uh, there's a PR 212T, which has two subwoofers. This one only has one subwoofer. And this one, like I said, is like my DJ. I would use it as like a DJ type setup because it's perfect for that. And you know, tripods, two pairs of speakers, and then you have your uh, subwoofer. And this subwoofer actually fits perfectly under my four foot table here. Uh, that's perfect, Maria. I'm gonna hide it under there. And it's going to be, people are going to be amazed of the power and loudness from the system. So uh, working great for me. The uh, two subwoofer system is $2,700. So uh, it's pretty expensive, but like I said, two subwoofers would be crazy. So you'd have some great uh, venue filling space with that type of system. It does have a one year warranty, which is fantastic. This is the first system I know of that that has the one year warranty uh, from ProRec, uh, so that's cool. Dual subs, so this subwoofer is not just one sub, it's two subs, has two 12 inch subwoofers in it. It's powered, it has about 800 watts RMS, uh, another 200 watts for the arrays. 
a thousand watt systems RMS, so it's pretty cool. D-class amplifiers, all that good quality you would find in most stuff out there. Subwoofers are four ohms, satellite speakers are eight ohms. It does have Bluetooth. It also has true wireless sound connection. So in my thoughts, if you had two of these systems, you could wirelessly connect them via Bluetooth, which would be crazy. Um, that would be, a, once again, a big venue that you would be hooking that into, uh, but very, very cool that you can do that with the true wireless sound on the subwoofer. It also has digital sound processing, uh, so it does have some preset sounds that you can set into it. We're gonna talk about there, talk about that a little bit. They work, but we're gonna talk about some details on that. They have a big uh, dispersion rate on these up to 90 degrees and you can also adjust that to how you want because like I said these are true arrays that have the adjustments to be able to go from uh, zero degrees to ten degrees each uh, each each speaker. So also they say this system could handle up to 500 people now in the instructions it does say that they would have to be suspended you know high uh, off the ground to be able to do that so the higher that you can get them the better your dispersion will and the more people you can cover on tripods at high at full height which is about six foot in the air so that the actual speakers will be above your head or if you were on a stage absolutely you could do two to three hundred people and i totally believe that because this thing is super loud and has more headroom with the volume so we're going to get there when we get there like i said with the digital sound processing it does have 48 bid uh, processing and like i said i already told you the watts it does have a few modes it has like just your standard mode a dj1 dj2 and a live mode and we'll kind of go what they uh, kind of sound like or tweak to the cables that you get like i said everything is included the cables you get it says in the online page it says 10 foot cables i received 20 foot cables so i don't know if that's a typo or what but i received 20 foot cables speak on to quarter jack but i don't know if that's right but i'm just telling you what i received i've received 20 foot cables which is crazy uh, to get in a set like this uh, a 20 foot cable i think that's great you can really spread your speakers out that way if you need to in a pinch and it's always good to have longer cables for that reason but if you didn't need to you could still keep them up close but you just have that extra cable which is fantastic it also comes with all the cables for the arrays and we'll show you that on the back of the speakers and i'll also show you a little bit of hookup on that too let's go ahead and i'll take you and we're going to take a quick look at everything and then like i said then we're just going to get into a quick sound test and then pros and cons all right we're back and i basically want to kind of show you the hookup and, and the speakers themselves and everything so this is the pro rec pr212 this is the subwoofer uh, you can see that they do have these little indentions and those are for setting this Either you can set it upright or you can set it laying down like this. And there's actually little plastic stops that I'll show you on the back here, but you can move them. So if you wanted to move them and you want to set this up in different ways, you can absolutely move them to any way you want. There's really nice handles on here. There's a nice coating on here. It does take a lot to go ahead and chip this. Uh, but like I said, mine did get beat up a little bit. So this is the actual powered sub in the back here. Do you have these settings on here you have a sub volume level and you have a satellite volume or our gain is what they call it and then you have two inputs uh, right here quarter jack or xlr and you have xlr outputs so you can connect this to other powered speakers so we're going to go way down here and we have standard mode dj1 dj2 and live mode for your presets with just a button so you just push this button give it a little tap and you can switch in between all those presets and it will light up green when you go through them you do have a limit light here and just like a power on light here bluetooth as soon as you turn this system on it will flash to pair uh, you don't have to pair to it but it will just flash and then you can also turn the bluetooth on and off so once you turn it on like i said it will just flash and um, if it's on you can pair to it if it's not on you can of course and it also has a uh, true wireless sound connection where you can connect this system to another system via wireless Bluetooth. Uh, that's really crazy and that would be awesome. That would be a really, you could, I mean, you could put two systems in one venue on each side of the, the venue and it would be in cra a crazy sound. So uh, that's pretty cool there to have that feature. You also have mono and a stereo button 
right here. So all you do is push it. On the back side, you can see I'm all hooked up. I have those speak on cables in here, which will go to my array speakers, a plug in here for your wall outlet, and then on and off switch. Uh, so I can turn this on real quick. You can see that my lights, you, you can see I just connected the Bluetooth that fast too. You can hear the fan a little bit, but it does have a fan in there. You can see that, you can see what setting I'm on. I'm actually in the live mode right here, but you, like I said, you just push a button and you can switch those. Uh, now it's on standard and you see my Bluetooth light was on and it did connect that fast. So I'm gonna shut the Bluetooth off and then I'm gonna turn it back on and see how quick it will connect. It's connected that fast. So uh, pretty cool there. You do have mounts on, on the side here. Here's the top and there's, you know, mounts all over the speaker. So you can, however you want to set it up, there is a mount to be able to pull mount it if you wanted to. I just want to show you the bottom real quick. Those are the, these are these brackets I was telling about that you can't take out. You can move anywhere you want. So I can set this on the bottom and make it stand completely up or I can lay it down like this, uh, which is what I like to do. Like I said, I'll be able to slide this right under my DJ table and you won't even know it's there, but it'll pound awesome. So you can, like I said, can't stand these up. These are pretty tall. Uh, I can give you measurements in a second, but they are pretty tall. All right, so now we go to the ProRec tripods. Pretty standard in my opinion. Uh, I didn't think they were anything crazy, uh, but they are good tripods. There's nothing wrong with them. Pretty standard in my opinion. They do have a spring in them and they are clamp type, uh, screw clamp type with the safety pin there. So you can put that in there. Then we go to the arrays here. Four different units here with two speakers each. They're two-way speakers. They're four-inch speakers. And this is crazy technology. They have the circuitry in them that you can do series and parallel. And you can see that from the instructions that they show, I have mine hooked up the same way, but I just have it reversed because they wanted me to go start with this one and hook into this one. And I did mine reverse because it just makes sense to go from the bottom up that way I have more cord on the bottom and so I have it set up the way they like it and it shows you how to do it here you can see on my speaker here it yep, shows you how to do it right there two speakers four speakers to eight speakers and it shows you how to do it but like I said instead of being at the top like they want me to do I switch it around so you can kind of see how I have it hooked up here guys and I, these are like little black inserts and you can take those out and like I said, this can also kind of remind you, if you leave those in there, it can remind you how to set this up because then you're like, oh, okay, I need these cables to here, here to here, and you know, boom. And then this is the output to my subwoofer here. It goes right into my subwoofer. Very, very cool. These things have some weight to them. I didn't get to weigh them individually like I wanted to, but I know that definitely has some weight. I would say this entire unit right here is at least 40 pounds i'm not kidding it was 40 but it's pretty heavy guys so it will take a little work to move these around might even want some help at some point but uh, if you're moving it awkwardly but it does have some weight these are very heavy they're built very well but like i said here's your ray part where you can adjust these here you can see that you have mine's at zero right now but you can move them to five degrees ten degrees uh, move them up uh, where they're all going to be lined up straight or, you know, have them at an angle like I do. It wasn't hard to put together. I did make that assembly video, how to get these all stacked and how to get all the pins in and out. And I made a video on that, but I think they look fantastic. They're like, they're not like anything out there. So like I said, if you want something a little bit different, this ProRec system might be for you because it's, it's, there's nothing like it out there. I'll tell you that there's no array speakers like this, no DJ system like this out there uh, at the moment we can go look at the other one same thing same setup same bracketry and everything like i said so very very cool it's set up the same way on the back the way the cables are and then it goes right into the sub i'm hooked up to a bluetooth right now so i really don't even need these i could take these out and i can still play music but i do have this to go to a little mixer here and I have my mic here. I'm gonna give you a little demonstration with that. That's all you need, guys. I have that little mixer. 
I could plug, I could still plug something into that as well. You could come straight out of a laptop. You can do all kinds of things to hook this up very, very easy. Uh, you can set this like it is, or like I said, I'm not gonna do this nice and slow, but you can also set it upright like that. Let's get this measured for you real quick. 32 inches to the top of that sub when it's upright. So it's a little bit less than three feet. Nice. All right, let's give you a little bit of a sound test and then we'll wrap it up with some pros and cons. All right guys, we're back. Uh, I just wanted to say, I'm gonna give you a quick sound test. I do have my, it's hooked up by Bluetooth. This is my iPad. I'm gonna show you, I have the, the gain set at less than half on both the satellite speakers and the arrays or the satellites they call them or, and the sub. And usually I have the sub turned down a little bit more because it's just, it's powerful. It's very, very powerful. Rattle my house, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'm going to play a couple songs so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. The microphone's not set up for sound tests, but I don't want to stand right in front of it because it won't sound right if I'm just standing right in front of it. So I want to try to get a little bit far back and that way you can kind of get an idea of, you know, setting up because if you are setting up, you should be standing probably about in the middle of your dance floor uh, to set up to get the best idea of how overall it's going to sound. So. All right, so let's go ahead and fire it up and I'll give you a quick sound test. All right, everybody so that was the sound test what did you think i think it sounds really good there's there's definitely bass present and the arrays on this thing are crazy they are crystal clear and they sound fantastic now i will say that it must all work together uh, these arrays really don't have any low end they have some mid bass but they don't have any low end so you absolutely need the subwoofer they have to all everything has to work together for the optimal sound uh, but it's fantastic this definitely has the club thump that you're looking for if you're looking for any kind of uh, live music uh, uh, artist uh, mini band setup this thing rocks 
Also, these also sound fantastic with voice. I do have, like I said, I have my microphone set up here and I can probably get away with turning it on without some feedback. Yes, I can. And these things are crystal clear. They sound really, really good. Uh, this is my <laughs> this is my Radio Shack mic from 2000. And like I said, if this thing sounds good on a system, then uh, a really good professional mic is going to sound even better. It's super loud, super clear, and you know, even hooked up with my little setup there. Uh, this is a great DJ setup. So it's called the concert set, but awesome for any kind of DJ out there. And so sound profile, like I said, it's great. It has it has everything. It has your you can make it sound because you can adjust the volume of the sub and the satellites. So if you want a little bit more of the brashness of the arrays, so you want a little bit more high end a little bit more mid-range you can turn it up if you want more bass you can turn that bass up so this is what we'll talk about since we're talking about sound profile this one we'll talk about the uh, dsp on the subwoofer there's a couple modes and i'm gonna grab my notes to, to make sure but so they're saying dj1 is like your club your dj club experience so it has a little bit more boost in the low end but still you know clear for uh okay uh, highs and mids. Then you have a DJ2 which boosts the low. I think DJ2 I call that the bass boost. Uh, it has a lot. It's supposed to be mixed media so it's supposed to be not only good for speeches but it's supposed to be good for wedding music. Uh, but I think it has the most bass in my opinion. Uh, like I said everybody's ear is going to be a little bit different on this but that's what I'm going to tell you. And then there's a band and solo mode which is supposed to be for small venues uh, for smaller venues and it's supposed to kind of uh, just give everything great for you know a live band or you know acoustic type stuff or like a solo artist to give you the best clarity uh, but still have enough little bass in there so and then finally there's just the regular standard mode which i think is an overall good mode for anything and i i really like that it's kind of what i have it on right now is just a standard mode uh, and then this will be in my positives and negatives, but the digital processing is only in the subwoofer. I really didn't notice anything going on with the arrays. So I don't know if that's just within the subwoofer and it's not going to the arrays, but I didn't notice too much change in any of the vocals, mid-range highs or anything like that. I only noticed stuff with the subwoofer with the uh, digital processing and not so much with the array. So just something to let you know there. Let's wrap this up with pros and cons and we'll get you on out, really appreciate it. Hopefully I had some good information. You got to sound, you got to give it a little sound test and we also got to see the speakers on how they looked and everything. So pretty cool. Uh, pros for sure. It's an excellent system. Uh, I will say it's their most professional system ProRec has come out with, bar none their most professional system. The arrays are fantastic, great quality, weight, build, everything. They look great, sound great, and I have no problem with them at all. There's definitely some volume with this system as well. It's an all-in-one system. I love that about it. Once again, ProRec all-in-one system, you get everything, Bluetooth to it, connect one wire to it, and you're playing music, you're ready to go. Uh, still a great value for the system. It is $1,900, that is pretty expensive, but once again, it's an all-in-one system. You get everything, all the cables come with it, you get two speakers and a sub, you're ready to DJ. And this is not only like, it's a good sub, you're, it's bumping, you're gonna get a club thump with this thing, you can turn it up. It's got volume, it's got headroom, uh, you're gonna be able to do uh, small venues and some larger venues with this system. Like I said, if you can get those speakers as high as you can, you're doing two to 300 people. That's gonna cover you for most events. So yeah, absolutely still a good value for 1900 bucks in my opinion. But at the same time, I'll jump to a negative in a second. All right, does come with that one year warranty and they have great customer service, okay? I've, like I said, I've already contacted them about the damage to this and they're already in the process of sending me a replacement grill, so. And they responded within a day. So like I said, great customer service so far with ProRec and also it's awesome that they have the one year warranty with this uh, to replace things as well if you have some issues and customer service if you have questions. Yeah, also, so still a value, great system, great for any mobile DJ, artist or small band so 
Bottom line, I am approving this system. DJ Martini Midwest, you heard it here. I would not be DJ Martini Midwest reviews if I didn't give both sides. And so I do have pros and I do have cons. And so here are my cons on the ProRec PR 212T. So first we're gonna start with the digital sound processing on the unit. Now it does change the sound and you do notice changes in the sound, but I only noticed changes through the subwoofer. I didn't notice any changes through vocals or anything, mids, highs, through the arrays. So I think the digital sound processing is only going through the subwoofer, in my opinion. That's just what I'm hearing in my ear. I just didn't hear any changes that sounded crazy through the arrays or anything. I only heard changes through the subwoofer, which definitely will change how everything sounds. But like I said, you just don't notice any vocal or highs or mid changes through the arrays. So something to point out there. Next thing I want to talk about is I'm a mobile DJ. I'm by myself when I do these gigs. I don't have any help. Nobody comes with me. And so I want to point out that these this system is pretty heavy duty, okay? It's made out of quality materials and you know metal, wood, those types of things. It's got big subwoofers, magnets, coils, all that kind of stuff. It weighs a lot. This subwoofer weighs 88 pounds. And so I'm definitely gonna have to invest in a better hand cart to get this around because my little cart that I have now might not cut it. And the array stacks weighs 47 pounds. And so it's almost like a little mini deadlift for me to be able to put that on the uh, tripod. So just something to put out there. I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older, I do have some back problems from some previous things, and so, yes. If you have some issues lifting heavy items, the system might not be for you because it is pretty heavy duty. Like I said, 47 pounds and 88 pounds, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is shipping. I can see that people might have some issues with shipping just because of how heavy these things are. So, the speakers are heavy, the subwoofer is heavy, 88 pounds, no matter who's shipping it to you, uh, like I said, it was packed well with styrofoam and, you know, cor corrugated thick, like, uh, inch pieces of cardboard in there to protect the sides and everything. And it still got dented in the front. So, like I said, no matter who's bringing it to you, I can see some people having issues with shipping, shipping damage. But don't worry, ProRec got you covered and one-year warranty, good customer service to replace things if you need it, okay? And if they can get, get it done, they will. All right, next thing I want to talk about is instructions. So I did not receive any instructions in the boxes. And so I had to go ahead and call ProRec up and they did get me one right away. And it's a digital one, so I have it on all my devices now. I can just go to my files and pop up the instruction manual. And I would say the instruction manual on this system is kind of important because it really lays out uh, those DPS settings. It lays out how to hook up these arrays. It lays out, you know, specs and stats and all kinds of things in that. And it also is for the concert set and the venue set because the venue set is very similar to these. This is the more mobile set, the concert set, and the venue set is made for a venue. So it's made to go on trusses or from the ceiling, hang down stacks of eight. And so you'd have eight arrays hanging from the ceiling and then you'd have one power sub on the ground. And that one powered sub powers all eight of those. So you can only power eight of these arrays with one sub. So that venue set comes with, you know, a stack of eight and a sub and a stack of eight and a sub. So you get two subs and you get 16 arrays. So uh, that's pretty crazy. And then like I said, with the true wireless sound, Bluetooth connect, you could connect those two wirelessly or you could cord connect them as well. So uh, pretty cool there. That system is $3,800. Like I said, made more for a venue, made to be more stationary and those types of things. So just to uh, put that out there, those instructions had instructions for both of those systems. The last thing I want to talk about is course price point. And I got to get into this because a lot of people are going to ask me, why is it worth to buy this system compared to some of the other ProRec systems? Okay, so I'm gonna go, a lot of the ProRec systems are, I've, I love, man, they, they're they portable, they're a lot lighter than this system, and like I said, so if you need something a little bit lighter, we might look into some of the other ProRec systems, but uh, this is the loudest system, I will definitely say, from ProRec. It also has a pretty good club thump with this subwoofer, it is, of course, the most expensive. I will say that this has the most volume of all the ProRec systems that I've listened to so far. So, you know, a lot of people, 
like I said, if you're doing smaller events, some of the smaller pro rec systems uh, at the value price might work better for you actually because they're lighter, they're more portable, um, and those systems uh, can be easily moved around. The system is a little bit heavier. It's made for a little bit more of the professional who's going to be doing a little bit larger events or you know a small band, uh, those types of things. And this can definitely cover you with those events. So price point wise, it still is a value in my opinion, and I'm gonna tell you why. Even though you could get some of the other systems from ProRec that start off at like 659 and you get a whole system, still values. Uh, even their most expensive other system is the 8000, and it's two 18 inch subwoofers, one powered, one passive, and then some stacks of arrays as well. Great system. But then uh, just for a little bit more, we're going to $1,900 now. Uh, you're going to get this system, professional, and like I said, it can definitely compete with some professional names in my opinion. A lot of people are going to say, well, I can actually get a Bose array, uh, an Electra Voice uh, EV array, like an Evolve 50. I can get a uh, JBL array, and I can get, you know, a Mackie array. I can get all those name brand arrays. ProRex, not quite a name brand yet. I think it's coming up. It's definitely going to be more well known with this system because like I'm telling you right now, this system can't compete with those. But here's the thing. If you get this system at $1,900, you're getting a complete system once again. If you get an Evolve 50 at $1,899, you're getting one speaker. Okay, just one speaker and it doesn't come with uh, cables or anything like that. Okay, so you're getting a system and not just one speaker. Same with a uh, Bose speaker. You're only getting one speaker and then people are going to say, well, quality wise, is it really uh, can, can compete with that? This is a good system. I'm telling you, it's made out of good materials. It's good crafted from what everything I've seen. Uh, the fan works good. It's not loud. Um, it's easy to hook up. It's got the correct connections that you'd see in professional gear. It's all there. It's a complete system. And I will say that it can compete with those other systems. I'm not saying it's better. I'm not going to say that. I'm not saying the clarity or in the music or anything like that is better than uh, some of the other systems out there like Bose, EV. But I will say that it can compete absolutely. And you're getting a system and not just one speaker. Okay, so that's my point. You can still count in the value of ProRec that you're getting a complete system and not just one speaker. There's going to be people that are still um, want to argue that point. Go ahead. Like I said, everybody has different opinions. And like I said, some people love Bose. Some people love EV. Some people love all the equipment out there. Okay, like I said, I'm a person that I like to use things that work best for me. So if this system works better at a certain scenario for me, I'm going to use it. If my LD system is going to work better in a venue for me, I'm going to use that. If, if another system works better at, a, at you know, uh, maybe I want some different stuff for a gym setup uh, for some kids, I'm going to use that system. So I use different systems for different things. And I think this one definitely rates in the professional level of ProRec and it's definitely and they turn some heads if some people start taking advantage of the complete system and how good this system sounds in my opinion. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. This has been the concert series set review. It's my final video on the series for the PR212T. Let me know what you think. Uh, something you'd be interested in. I'm going to leave links. Uh, ProRec at this is uh, November 20th 2023 this video is out they will be doing a black friday sale i believe on the system so check it out i will leave some links in the description to their website also uh, for the item itself so um, check it out for sure uh, see what the price is on black friday i don't know what it's going to be but they will be doing a black friday sale on their website for this system and probably some other systems too so check out their website uh, check out the deals that they have and uh, let me know. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. We'll see you real soon. I got more tech. I got more items uh, coming to you every week. So thank you so much. We'll see you on my next video.